Hi, I'm Rick Sullins, and I'm going to try and follow my own instructions here to install, configure, and test the version 2 uh, Arduino IDE. Make that a little bigger so we can all see it. And the instructions say I should go to arduino.cc to uh, get the 2.0 version. So on the downloads, you can get the original old version, the 1.8.19 or whatever is current, or you can scroll down a little bit and get version 2. If you're using Windows, choose the top one here, Win 10 and newer, 64 bits. If you're using Mac OS, uh, like I am, I'll choose this one, uh, which is good for the latest version. And this is now Release Candidate 8, RC8 here, meaning that's the latest version. It's not quite fully released yet. I'm going to just download because I've already made a contribution to support the Arduino IDE. And it'll take a while to download. But it shouldn't be very long. I install it on the Mac simply by dragging it to the Applications folder. And I've already installed it once, so I'm going to replace the existing installation. Now, if you have some old installations of Arduino on your machine, you should probably delete all of the old installations, particularly the ones that may have been an earlier version. So I've now moved that into my Applications folder. And it should be ready to go. If I look under Applications, there it is, the Arduino IDE. And I can start it. It will always take a little while to start up the Arduino IDE. But the first time you start it, it will take even longer. Because it needs to get the configuration sorted out a little bit. It popped up uh, an old piece of code I was working on on my other screen because I had already installed it. But on yours, it'll pop up uh, a fresh new sketch window with no code in it yet. Takes a little while to come up and it will probably show you an Arduino IDE window like this one. And this is a brand new sketch that you can right for the Arduino IDE. This is the code that will run right now. It's got nothing in it other than the basic framework. But we need to do some additional setup steps before we get started. So we've installed the new version. We've got to this stage here. And now we need to install some additional support uh, for the boards that we want to use. So what I'm going to do is cut and paste this line out of the textbook here. And I'm going to go to Arduino, Preferences, and paste that in right there. In fact, in my case, it's already pasted in because I'd already done the install. And I'll choose OK. And you'll see you've got the same sort of picture here. Now I'm going to go and using the Tools menu, I'm going to choose from Boards, the Boards Manager. And I'm going to search based on SAMD. That's uh, one of the designation letters for uh, the, the boards that we're going to be using in the course. And so I'm going to install the Adafruit SAMD boards. 
This could take quite a bit longer depending on the system you've got and how busy the network is. And I'm going to all install the Arduino SAMD boards that provide some support for that. Which again, could take much longer on your system. And I should now be able to look on my tools, boards menu and identify multiple different kinds of boards that may be uh, installed and, and usable. So I've just plugged in an itsy bitsy M0 like the ones you've got to my computer. And I will now choose Tools, Board, Adafruit SAMD Boards, Itsy Bitsy M0 Express. And then I will choose Tools, Port, and there's the one on that port. Alternatively, because this is the new IDE, we can choose from a list up here of what's plugged in. So I could just choose that one and set both the type of processor and the port at the same time. Now I should be able to press this upload button and compile and upload the code that's, uh, that's in the IDE edit window. Right now there's nothing interesting going on in that code, but we can upload it and see if it does something. It says it succeeded in uploading, so that's good. That's not going to be very interesting because that code does nothing. But if we go back over to here, to the run your first sketch segment, we can choose all of that, copy it, and then paste it in over here. Now if I upload, it should compile, upload, and it succeeded in compiling that code. That code was meant to print a bunch of things. That's what all these serial print statements say. So let's look and see what's coming out on the uh, serial monitor, which is where that output goes to. And sure enough, it's printing things out. It's also blinking lights on the board, which you can't see from here, but that's something you can verify for yourself. So you've got a functioning installation now. It's all working. If you run into problems during the lab, uh, we'll have TAs there to help you and make sure that you get it going uh, and that, that everything works out uh, okay for your installation. Once you've got some, some code running, you may want to install some additional libraries. And to do that, we'll choose Tools, again, Library Manager, Manage Libraries. And the Library Manager will let us select different libraries to install. If we type in rtclib, which is the library we want to install, then sure enough, there it is, rtclib by Adafruit. Mine's already installed. Uh, I've got version 2.02. .02. It's uh, been updated to version 2.03, so I'm going to install that one. And it's asking me uh, about dependencies for that library. Do I, I want to just install the library, or do I also want to install all the libraries that, uh, that it depends on, that it requires to function? And I'm going to choose Install All. Now it says it's successfully installed the library.
Sometimes you may not be able to install libraries uh, directly with this simple approach. So what we'll need to be able to do is get some libraries manually. In this case, this is a library of files that I've put together specifically to help you out on this course. And so you'll need to locate your Arduino libraries folder. Documents. Arduino. And there's libraries. So there's a bunch of libraries there. And what you'll need to do is download the library that you're interested in. In this case, it's going to be this library from GitHub. So code, download the zip file. I definitely want to allow downloads. And once you've got it, you should see a folder that says RWS Uno Master with some subfolders and files under it. Now, if you've downloaded this on Windows, it may not unzip automatically like it does uh, on, on Mac. And so you may need to uh, unzip it explicitly by double clicking on it. And you may wind up with some problems with RWS Uno Master unzipping into another subfolder called RWS Uno.master and, uh, and then having the other files under it. But we're going to take this and we're going to drag it over and put it into our libraries folder so that it's available there for us to use. Pretty straightforward to manually install it. And now if I want to make sure that I've got that library recognized and visible uh, in my Arduino IDE, I should probably quit the IDE and restart it. This time it doesn't take quite as long to restart the IDE, but it still takes 20 or 30 seconds. So remember that this is a big piece of software and it's loading, you'll have to be a little bit patient. In my library manager, if I look now for stuff with RWS in it, it's not finding anything out there in the managed libraries. That's why we had to install it uh, individually. But if I go under File, Examples, I can see the RWS uh, Arduino extensions. This is the RWS Uno uh, library here and multiple different examples that I can run. For instance, an I2C scan. You'll notice this code doesn't have very much in it, but it is calling up this RWS Uno library by loading that RWS Uno.h file. If the library is there, we should be able to succeed in compiling and uploading this code. Compiled, successfully uploaded, and if we look at what's coming out on the serial monitor, it tells us that it found some devices on this particular setup. So this is a particular example of using the RWS Uno library that's going to be really helpful to you later on in the course when you're trying to configure some uh, uh, digital sensors. So that's basically got us through the process of installing some libraries, having already completed what we needed to to uh, support our particular board, on top of the basic installation of the Arduino IDE version 2. I hope that helps you get started. Take care. Bye.